at that. Gorgeous. I told you it was worth coming Yeah, this one is really nice. Wow. I feel so excited. It's like discovering ancient tombs. All of these were the special ovens. Oh my god, it's absolutely insane. I know. Like, Look, it carries it on and on. So Good morning. Today we're in North Yorkshire in a beautiful little village called Langcliffe near Settle. And where are we walking today, Olivia? Stainforth. 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 Forth and River Forth. Ribble. There's like a little waterfall in River Ribble. And also to this interesting place where old kilns are. Kilns are ovens where they used to make bricks. Before starting our hike, we came into this church in Langcliffe called St. John the Evangelist. And at the entrance, there were all those books there that you could take for free. And I picked a very interesting Bible, which is not just the Bible, but it's got all the history and cultural context and also illustrations I'll show you. I'll show you now. So there it, it is, the Reader's Digest Bible Illustrated Edition. And you get not just the Bible, but all the history of the time that it relates to and illustrations as well. We are leaving the village of Langcliffe behind us now to go in search of Stainforth Force. Do you think we'll find it? Yeah! Because we are great navigators, aren't we? There's a bag behind us. Just look at this quaint little bridge that we are crossing which goes over the railway lines and we're walking towards the River Ribble you can see some limestone formations starting there that's the limestone country, North Yorkshire and that's where we came from, from Langcliffe village and that's the River Ribble We're crossing the River Ribble now, that's not Stainforth Falls yet, it's not the waterfall yet, but that's just a nice weir, is it called weir? Yeah, beautiful. I like little gates like this to get through the walls, they're like little portals. Little lounge, Olivia. It's so cute going to mommy. Oh, hiding under mommy. And here we have finally arrived to Stainforth Force waterfall. Here's another hidden way to get through the wall onto the Stainforth Bridge. We're leaving Stainforth Force behind us. And now we're going to the Stainforth village to look for a cafe, to have a cup of tea and something to eat. And then we're going to be searching for Hoffman kilns, those giant ovens for making bricks. Oh, look at this poorly frog. Olivia needs some water. Take it, take it and put it into the water or into the shade. It's tall. Yeah, it's not well. Go and take it, and then let's take it to the water. Oh no, show me, it's done. Oh, it's not well. Come on, let's take it to the water. After saving the frog, we crossed over the railway bridge to get to the village of Stainforth, where we were looking for something to eat because we were starving. Look, that's the place where we can eat. Shall we go in here? Tea, coffee, snacks. 
We had a lovely meal halfway throughout the walk and now I feel like this piggy here, full of food. Let's go, let's carry on. During the 19th and early years of the 20th century, this area was heavily industrialized. Limestone was quarried and then burnt in a series of large-scale kilns to produce lime. Warning! Old industrial sites and quarries are hazardous places and visitors must take special care at all times. So this is where they are, the kilns. Wow! Oh, this is so cool! Oh my god! Olivia, I really like that! Look! So these are the kilns. The set of chambers where they were making limestone bricks or whatever it was. Olivia, I think the entrance is there. Let's have a look. I feel so excited. It's like discovering ancient tombs. All of these were the special ovens. We're gonna go inside it now. It's like an artificial cave, isn't it, Olivia? Like a man-made cave. Whoa. It's so long. I didn't Whoa. know. Yeah? That is so insane. Does it go around? Yeah. Oh my goodness, it's absolutely insane. I know. Look, it carries on and on. So long. And it's so much colder in here than it is outside. It is. Look, you can see how far it goes, look. Oh all the way around and every so often in the walls you see this like chambers maybe it was where the cold was or maybe it's for the air to come out did you expect it to look like this Olivia? no I thought it would no. be like way smaller yeah I didn't think it would be that big you want to go on top of it? okay try sure. yeah you should do climb up go light now I can see Stone that, that they were using that limestone for this kilns. Way house. There's a bit of a structure up there as well. <coughs> that one is Pennigand, and this one is Ingleborough, or the other way around. I'm not sure. cave there where the hole is is the Jubilee cave but we're not going to that one is smaller we're going to the Victoria cave which is to the right that way oh yeah you can get over the wall all of it there yeah yeah That's impressive. The massive cave. Can you go inside it? Yeah, you can. Let's have a look. You can go inside it. It's a very big cave. I don't know the name of it, still don't know. Here we are inside of the Victoria Cave. We found it, and there's nobody here. I'm glad there's no one here. I like it when you come places and there's no one there. Olivia, where are you? Wait. Are you okay? Tired? Yeah. We've been walking for so long. I think when we come back, it's going to be about 10 miles altogether. Let's show the back of it. I'm going to go inside and have a look. On the way back we met someone who showed us a very picturesque way down. Look at that! Gorgeous! I told you it was worth yeah, this way is really nice. Wow! We ended up hiking about 11.4 miles and we made a figure of eight. It wasn't quite a circular hike, it was a figure of eight hike. 
and then eventually we came back to Langcliff village where we started from. I hope you enjoyed the gorgeous North Yorkshire in the April sunshine. Until next time, bye bye!